Ashley Adams started her life off as many other children of her day. She had a good upbringing and a great family to support her. Everything seemed to be going right for her. Academically, she was at the top of her class, but no one could have expected what was about to happen. Ashley and her brother started what would eventually be known as the Adams Gang, one of the most notorious gangs of all of history, robbing banks and sheep markets all over the Northeast, but soon, the law was able to catch up with them. Always on the run, from their home in Maryland, they headed for the Great Smoky Mountains in order to hide out from the law. But when the law found them, they moved to the Wide West, hitting every sheep market and bank along the way. While on the run, their favorite mode of transportation was a tractor. Though slow, very inconspicuous. Their mother would sit at home and worry constantly, but their mother had her own little secret she was keeping. Years earlier, she was in trouble with the law herself, being caught in the act of bootlegging on several occasions. Under the cover of a Coca-Cola truck, she would make her runs, transporting whiskey and other hard liquor across state lines. She decided the best way that she could keep them safe was to join them. Causing trouble anywhere they went, they became notorious across the world. And then, it seems like they vanished. So just what happened to the Adams Gang? In this rare interview, we get a small glimpse into the world, into the lives they lived, and how it all ended. Yeah, we rode together for a few years. Headed out west when we were pretty young. Hit every sheep market we could find. You know, I mean, it was easy. Clean getaway. I don't know. Then she just started to change. Started, How so? Started getting in the root beer, and she just she just couldn't kick the habit. I don't know how many times I had to pull her out of trouble. Just couldn't stay off the root beer. So, we all got after us after a while, so we headed down to New Orleans. We thought we were all clean and green until she double-crossed me. After robbing the central sheep market under the cover of night, Ashley took off with all of the Adams gang's money and headed back towards Maryland. She there met the love of her life, a young sheep farmer named Carl. They headed for the Great Smoky Mountains themselves. There they got hitched, but soon he too was double-crossed. After several other run-ins with the law, she was able to reconcile with her brother and went into hiding together. Disguised as small animals and pirates, they were able to get away from the law and hide out. 